That's my husband a few years. And that's when I found it. Because who doesn't love treasure? I bet you folks don't have one of these. I want that. The story started slow, but it was pretty intriguing. And then I discovered the clip on the internet. I assumed it was posted by um, a backpacker or a holiday maker, someone like that. Well, you could see a beach, I assumed East African, and a community of fishermen. The group of fishermen have pulled something up in the net. That's an adventure. You want to know more? That would be great. Okay. They even pulled this big old bolt out of the ocean that was used to hold the whole of the ship together, and it was massive. And they used it to recreate the CGI render that uh, said that this ship was like 60 meters long, and in like American terms, it's like 65 yards on the football field. Quite simply, we were looking at an enormous ship. So with that information about the ship and this Roman coin they found from Nero's time of rain or whatever they were looking for some period after 54 AD so they could start searching in the archives and they looked at books in the library and then they finally found it a tale as the legend goes Amotan was the man freed from slavery great story already everybody loves an underdog I bet he amassed this huge collection of treasures he planned to build a monumental palace or a temple to house them all. On this great voyage to the temple, the ship was struck by a storm. That's a wonderful story, but let's get back to the treasure. So they just kept on pulling all these sculptures that they found out of the water. And I'm just like, holy crap. And then they struck gold and I'm like what the heck is wrong with my news outlets why haven't I found out about this before oh yeah that's right uh Kylie Jenner naming her rabbit Bruce that's what news is today I forgot they just keep on finding all of this freaking gold and all these gold statues and stuff and I'm just on the edge of my seat like oh holy crap you know but they just keep on going. There's more and more. And then as the story develops, they start fighting because one wants to leave. And then another person doesn't want to leave because they think there's more treasure. So they throw in a uh, like little robot diver to go take pictures of this like off the reef in the deep, deep part. So they can look to see if anything fell down there. And what they found was crazy. There it is. Look at that. This is two figures. I'm not taking any pee breaks. I want to know what that is because it has swords. These figures. Like they've always been there. Oh my god! So then they cut it to get it out of the water and I'm just like in there worried about the crane like not being able to pull it up and I'm like please don't break it but it's all good they got it up and then they pull all this other cool stuff up and I'm just <laughs> so after I watched it I had not had my fill I went to Google and I searched it out and I was like what what is this Controversial artist stages a fake shipwreck, sells treasures for millions. Damien Hirst created a fake documentary about a fake finished show, and now you can see it on Netflix. I've been trolled. This is that mermaid's document all over again. I don't appreciate you playing on my ignorance. Why is the television not a good resource for information these days? Alright, so I just saved you 90 minutes of your life by not, you not having to watch that mockumentary and your beliefs being shattered. So if you want to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, because I'm going to make something. And you know what? If you don't like it, you can just ignore it when you get the notification, okay? In all seriousness, though, there is still 95% of the world's oceans unexplored, and 99% of that is the ocean floor. So get down there and start hanging out with SpongeBob. Find me something good.